everybody I've got a hair tutorial for you guys today I wanted to show you how I get um, curl in my short kind of chin length uh, layered hair with velcro rollers velcro rollers are used a lot on people with longer hair to give them volume and body but I wanted to show you that you can on shorter hair get really pretty good curl um, I wear my hair curly a lot. My hair naturally has some body. This is it, just kind of air dried. I'm just going to dampen it with a spray of water. I just want it just damp, not soaking wet. Um, and then I'm going to use a little bit of this. It's the Ion Curl Solutions Curling Cream. And this is for thin, fine, or normal curly and wavy hair. I get this at Sally's. It's a cream, I use about that much. It just helps to control your curl and get it to last. It's also nice if you have natural wave or body in your hair, it will actually help to control those curls as well. And um, it's got a really nice scent to it. So all around, it's pretty good stuff. So I've got that in, and then you're gonna need Velcro rollers. I also get my Velcro rollers at Sally's. And um, I like that because you can buy them in packs, so you can kind of decide the size that you need. So for my hair, if I want my hair to be more wavy or just bodified, I'll use the pink ones or the blue. If I want my hair to be curly, I will use this green size. And I get these at pa in packs. Like I said, at Sally's, there's multiple rollers in a pack, and they're very inexpensive. And to show you guys how curly you can actually get your hair with Velcro rollers, I'm going to use the green ones today. So I'm just going to part my hair how I'm going to wear it and take a section. Now the reason Velcro rollers are great is if you have shorter hair, if you have hair that's hard to kind of stay on the roller, the Velcro rollers will really grab your hair and help it to stay. So they do a fantastic job. So I'm just gonna take it to the end, let it grab around my hair, and then just roll it down. And that section's probably a little too big, and you'll sort of work with it and kind of see what size you need. But the other thing is these rollers are very forgiving. They're not like a sponge roller set or something where you'll get like a dent or a bar or it will do weird things. These are so much easier to just grab and roll down. And I just roll under. So just take sections, kind of roll them under. If you've got some parts, like I have some bangs that are kind of sticking out and that's, that's okay too, because that'll just blend in. And then this is great if you want to do a no heat set, but you can also take this, put a heat protecting spray in before you roll it and just blast it with a blow dryer for a few moments to kind of heat it up and then make sure it's completely cool and it will set really well that way too. So I'm going to go ahead and um, finish rolling.
Okay, so once you finish rolling, what is this front? I still have this little piece on the front. I'm just gonna pull that out and roll it again just to get that little bang tucked in. So here is my roller set. Rolled all the way down to the bottom. This hair is really short. Like, look how short this hair is. And yet, because it's a Velcro roller, it will actually stay in place. So there we go. I'm going to let this roller set sit on my head for a couple hours. You could do this before you did your makeup. You could do this um, a couple hours before you go out or just while you're having breakfast. Um, like I said, you could take a blow dryer and kind of blast it with a blow dryer just to kind of dry it a little faster. But um, the longer you leave it, like any roller set, the better your results. So I'm going to come back and show you guys what we got. Hey everybody, I am back. I've been letting my roller set sit for like about an hour or so um, just to kind of let it percolate in my hair. And I'm gonna start undoing my rollers. And you wanna like just unwrap them. You never wanna just like pull them out because that's not happy for your hair. So yeah, see I've got a good bit of bend here. All right, so once you got them all out, I just kind of fluff it with my hands. See, that's a lot of, that's curl. Okay, so once I've got that, I'm just gonna take a vent brush and run it through. And then I do the other side. Shake it out. Run the brush through it. And then you can finish that with like a little bit of pomade or something like that. If you want it more controlled. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of a pomade. This is the Ion Daily Solutions Pomade Wax. Another thing I got at Sally's, but just any lightweight pomade is great. I'm just going to get a tiny bit of this in my hand. Just a little. Rub it through and kind of just use it to sort of go through those curls. Kind of mold that shape. This almost ends up with like a 1950s kind of big hair, like bob look, which is kind of kind of fun. And this will relax a little bit during the course of the day, but like for me, tomorrow I'm gonna have a lot of volume, but maybe not any curl left. So, I mean, like I can even get a little kind of vintagey looking curl on the front. Here's the back of my hair. And then there you go. All right, so thank you guys so much. I hope that this gave you an idea of how you can use Velcro rollers. They're really quick and easy. And like I said, for short hair, they really grab the short hair and help it to get a nice curl. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.